This is my dual conversion general coverage receiver. Here we have some radio amateurs talking to each other. This is uh, on the 40 meter band. You may hear some domestic sounds in the background. I'm using my Swiss Army knife to hold this little DDS thing up. Uh, keeps slipping around, but someday this uh, whole receiver will be in a, a nice package and then I'll post it in another video. And here we have some general coverage just above the 40 meter band. Thank you for listening to World Harvest Radio. The many people broadcast on this station need to hear from you. If you miss the broadcast of your favorite Next in this broadcast coming to from Bucharest Radio Romania International, it's music highlights. I am not a Marasimion. Dana Chukurlie is a gifted Romanian pianist who on August 12th gave a recital in the 14th edition of the International Piano Festival, Piano uh, Saint Ursan, held in Switzerland. Dana Chukurlie will be opening this classical music program. This is the heart of the whole receiver. It's a receiver designed by David White and sold online. It's sold online at BG Micro. I will provide a link. This receiver uses two NE602s. These are mixers. It also has wideband transformers. Mimic amplifiers. This is a close-up of the Mimics. This is the input transformer for the antenna. We have the uh, attenuator at the bottom shown here and the variable cap for the antenna. 10.040 megahertz crystal filter, then the 9.585 mixer crystal, then they mix down to 455 kilohertz, real cool. This is where the DDS VFO signal comes in. This is where the 455 IF comes out. This is the little test point I used to verify the mixing circuit. This is a little ceramic resonator BFO circuit, close up. And this little beauty is the final stage of the receiver, a 455 kilohertz IF strip that was once just a little old transistor radio. I got off eBay. It's a sweetie. Any 455 kilohertz receiver with the front end disabled, like I show here, I disconnected this transformer. 
this receiver also has the audio section in the back there next to those transformers just probing around with a modulated 455 kilohertz signal it's easy to find out where to inject the uh, IF from the other part and there you have it folks my original receivers all had lots of issues with spurious signals and mirror images and they drove me insane finally I decided to do something about it and I figured dual conversion was the way to go I had this this other receiver from David White that I had bought years ago and I used that as the starting point the final mixer was originally the BFO circuit so I figured well let's try something so I uh, found some CB crystals that that uh, seemed to work and reduce it down to 455 kilohertz slapped it into a little radio there like 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 I show you here and uh, and it worked right off the bat eventually I'm gonna put a voice processor in there that I'm gonna build from a kit and some other enhancements and uh, put it in a box and uh, it should be good now here's the thing I'm just a hacker I don't have any uh, uh, schematics available for example I don't have a clue how I made that little BFO circuit I just looked up a circuit and slapped it together because I had some ceramic resonators kicking around the uh, David White board the big green one is something I got from BG Micro it's called Kit Boo, K-I-T-B-O-O. -O. Just look it up and pick one up. They're not too expensive. Any little transistor radio, on, like I show on the right here, will work for the final. The crystals you can get off eBay, if you look. And the DDS is the one I used in my original video. That there is available on the internet, the recipe. And uh, they're cheap and easy to build. I'm going to put a switching network in for various coils so that I can go through all the different bands, including one for uh, broadcast AM. This thing will not do anything too high. Personally, I don't care for anything much over 12 megahertz, maybe. I like 80 and 40 meter bands most. But I'm not a ham. I just like receivers. I've always liked receivers. And there's one thing I forgot to say. I'm using uh, a curtain rod for an antenna and the he heating pipe for the ground. And this thing's picking up signals left and right. I think one of the best attributes in this little guy is the uh, input transformer. It's shown how to wind in the directions to make the kit boo receiver from David White. It really works well, especially the way it splits the uh, inputs for the uh, NE602. Note how I'm using recycled images so I can blabber on. I'll try to answer as many questions as possible, but I'm pretty terrible at it. I couldn't do any of this without a decent oscilloscope and uh, signal generator. And like I said, I'm just a hacker, so... Um, I like to keep things simple, and this is a simple receiver if you ask me. And there you have it. Hope you enjoy it.